Okay, love you there, sweetheart. Thank you so very much. Get the game through and stay out of the way. When that, when that thing get hot, just pay. That's all you got to do. I'm going to just start by saying that um, my estranged husband is in jail. Um, he's been in jail for over a year uh, since about the right after the 4th of July of 2022. And recently, some uh, phone calls from last year between he and I were leaked. And uh, on those calls, you hear me saying um, you were winded going up the stairs at your home and um, Marjorie looks at us as the help. And right here and now, um, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said. Um, as much as I wish I could, I can't take it back. I can't. I said it. And, you know, I want to apologize. It was definitely um, not me trying to add to what you and Marjorie already have going on in your lives right now. Um, but the fact that these tapes were released, it does seem like everyone is coming to you, at, coming for you, I should say, at this time, including me. But in reality, the tapes have nothing to do with what you and Marjorie have going on. It was just me running my mouth in a private conversation or what I thought was a private conversation. And again, I apologize. I feel terrible. I make no excuses. You know, I, I, I said what I said. And... um there's no denying it. There's no taking it back. Um, Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely superb. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story. Yes, a story about Shirley Strawberry and her husband. And somewhat about Steve Harvey and Marjorie, but really more focused on Shirley Strawberry and her husband. Now, as you all may know, for those who follow the Steve Harvey Morning Show, Shirley Strawberry, yes, came out yesterday with guns blazing, basically apologizing to Steve and explaining to the world, yes, explaining to the world what's going on in her personal life and the things that she is going through with her soon-to-be estranged husband, Ernesto Williams, or better known as Nasty Ness. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And for those who don't know, Ernesto is currently in jail right now, serving a 23-month sentence for all kinds of damn charges, scamming people and also child pornography. And they also said, which I'm not sure if it's really true or not, but you all can let me know in the comment section. It was also said that Ernesto had touched, yes, Shirley Strawberry grandchild. Now, if that's not enough to make you want to slap somebody, I don't know what it is. But what's even worse is the fact that it don't even stop there. Now, upon Ernesto being in jail for like the last year or something, Ernesto has not been keeping it real with his wife, Shirley Strawberry. And we understand that people do all kinds of things. But at the same time, you got to know when somebody is good for you and when somebody is bad for you. Now, what's being said is Ernesto Williams and his partner, Erica King, was scamming people out of a lot of money in hopes of these people trying to become successful. Now, they will make these people promises that they know they couldn't keep. But at the same time, you got to ask yourself this. How in the hell could you help me start a business, Ernesto Williams, if you don't even have a damn business yourself? Now, you would think that a guy who's already been to prison will have learned his lesson the first damn time. But this is what you call an old fool. You get what I'm saying? Ernesto Williams is an old fool. Like my granddaddy used to have these old sayings all the time. A very smart man, bless his soul. He used to tell me all the time that it's one thing to be a young fool, but it's another thing to be an old fool. You get what I'm saying? Because when you're young, you're entitled to mistakes. You're allowed to make mistakes because you're still learning. But it's a damn shame when you're old and you're still making these same mistakes. So that what makes you an old fool. Now, anyway, now you would think after all Ernesto been through and that he was lucky enough to get with a woman like Shirley Strawberry, which I'm surprised that he was able to get with her. You would think that he would do better in his life. No, Ernesto came out of prison basically doing the same damn thing. And the fact is that you would take advantage of a good woman like Shirley Strawberry. And also, while I'm in it, I want to send a special big shout out to Shirley Strawberry for standing up and basically telling the truth, even though she was kind of forced to in a way because all the phone calls got leaked from the jail that he was at. Now, it was a YouTuber who exposed those phone calls from jail. I don't know how the hell a YouTuber knew to apply for those phone calls, but it's a good thing that that YouTuber did. Now, it's saying that somebody in jail 
leaked this information to the YouTuber, and that's what made the YouTuber file this motion to receive these uh phone calls and whatnot. But it's what's being said on those phone calls that really very damaging. You have Ernesto Williams talking to another woman, basically telling another woman that it's not his wife, Shirley Strawberry, that when that thing get hot, I need you to just pat it. Or keep that thing tight for me until I get home. That thing mean that cookie. And that's not even the worst part. On one of those phone calls, Shirley Strawberry was explaining to him that she put money on the phone books, but every time him and Shirley would talk, she would notice that like if she put fifty dollars on there, it wind up being thirty dollars or twenty dollars. So Ernesto had to been calling somebody else, and guess who he was calling? Yeah, somebody said it. His side chick. Now, on one of those phone calls, which was very disturbing to me and sad at the same damn time, even Shirley Strawberry had to question it herself. He wanted her to be at home at a certain time so he can go up front and use what they call a free phone call. So maybe he knew one of the guards or a guard owed him a favor or whatnot. We do not know. But at the same time, Shirley Strawberry asked him, why is there a reason to use a free phone call when I put money on the books? That's because he wanted to talk to her at a certain time and use the money that she was sending him to call the other woman. Now, it was also said in those phone calls what Shirley Strawberry said about Steve Harvey House. And basically, she did not even say anything bad about his house. She only said that when he was walking up the stairs, it looked like he was kind of winded. Because as you all can tell, Steve have a big nice house i mean it's a very big house and she also said that marjorie look at them like to help them mean the people that he work around with now i don't know if that's true or not but a lot of people coming out blast the marjorie behind that so shirley strawberry apologized to steve harvey on the show in front of everybody and i'm very proud of her to do that but at the same time you know what i'm saying we all play the fool sometimes in life you get what i'm saying we all have been misled we all have been used or cheated on whether you're getting used right now or it was five years ago or when you was younger, you know what I'm saying? We all made those mistakes of giving our heart to the wrong person. So we cannot sit up here and condemn this woman and try to hold this against this woman just because she gave her heart to the wrong person. Now, I'm going to tell you all this before I dig deep into this story. If you have a good life going on, because she stated that she had a very good life. She had a nice home, nice vehicles and everything. But as soon as she got with Ernesto, things started going wrong in her life. Like she said, she was at the stylist one day and she was getting her hair did. And all of a sudden, the repo man pulled up and took her vehicle, and the stylist had to drop her off. And she also lost her home. She had to move in with friends. Now, a lot of people was making fun of Shirley Strawberry and saying, well, damn, I thought Steve Harvey paid her a lot of money, so why could she not afford to pay her mortgage? But at the same time, when you're dealing with a bastard like Ernesto, guess what? You're bound to lose everything, including your life, maybe. So it's a good thing that she still has that intact. But at the same time, if you're with somebody and your life is going good, then all of a sudden, after you meet this person, you're with them for a while, everything starts going bad. Chances is you let a demon into your life. You let the wrong person in your life. But anyway, once again, I am glad that she cleared the air. And I am also glad that she apologized to Steve and Marjorie. And most of all, I am glad that she aired Ernesto nasty ass out. That's exactly what she should have done. Because you're going to sit up here and be in jail and you would think that you will at least try to make a change then. But no, you go worse, you go harder. Not only are you using the money that I send you to call other women, but you steady lying to me and have me look like a fool. So it's a good thing and also a bad thing in a way that those phone calls got leaked. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, Shirley Strawberry apologizes to Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey and announces Divorce proceedings are underway. And Shirley, as soon as you get that divorce, hit Big Daddy up. Yes, hit Big Daddy up. Anyway, a series of phone calls were leaked between Shirley and her estranged husband, where Shirley can be heard talking about Steve Harvey and his wife, Marjorie. During the morning show, Shirley Strawberry Letter was an apology to Steve. And she did apologize. And you could tell she was very hurt. Now, look here. Now, I know I have said a lot of things about Steve in the past, but it wasn't no lie or anything like that. It was just my opinion. I'm not going to lie on nobody. And I also said a few things about the strawberry letters, how some of them seem fake to me. But at the same time, you got to have some compassion for people. You know what I'm saying? Because they're human just like I am human. And I don't want nobody just to try to go in on me all the time like some of these bloggers do. Everything they say about these celebrities, most of the time, be negative. You have very few YouTubers who have a balanced channel, balanced program, where they talk about the good and the bad and the person. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, let's continue. Now, this is Shirley Strawberry talking to Steve. She says this right here. Steve, I'm going to start by saying that my strange husband is in jail. He's been in jail for over a year, right after the 4th of July in July of 2022. And recently, some phone calls between him and I were leaked last year. She said, 
on the morning show. And she also says, on those calls, you hear me saying that you were winded going up the stairs to your home and that Marjorie looks at us as the help, which that's her opinion. You get what I'm saying? If she want to say that Marjorie looked at them as the help, maybe that's how she feel. Maybe Marjorie gave her a look one day. We do not know. But what's so wrong about what she said? Steve looked at Wendy when he was walking up the stairs. The man has a big ass house, probably three or four stories high. You get what I'm saying? Now, you would think that a person of Steve Harvey age, Steve Harvey is 66 years old. Of course, you're going to be winded walking upstairs. Hell, some of us is way younger and get winded. So for people to sit up here and say that she was down bad for saying it, how is she down bad for saying that? It's not like that she was cussing them out or really talking about them very bad like some people do. Anyway, let's continue. Shirley goes on to say, right here and right now, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie as much as I wish I could. I could take it back. But guess what, though? You did not say nothing wrong. You only stated your opinion. You get what I'm saying? So it would have been a different story if you would have called Marjorie a gold digger, uh, call her all kind of other names, and also Steve. But for you to say that Marjorie look at the people that Steve Harvey worked with as the help, that's nothing wrong in that. That's just your opinion. And at the same time, what person don't get winded when they walk up some damn stairs? Hell, I get winded some damn time. But anyway, Steve Harvey responded to Sheryl Strawberry and says this to her. He says, let me say this to you, Shirley. We have known about this right after it happened, but we can't get into nobody's marriage like, girl, what are you doing? What are you feeling? And Steve goes on to say, but we didn't want to talk about it, talking about her situation going on with her husband. You know, some people don't want to talk about their marriage issues or relationship issues. Some things are very private. You know how some people are. Some people may get mad at you. Some people may cuss you out or, you know, saying that you're being very nosy. But Steve in the conversation and says this right here. And it's very true what he says. He says the devil is busy. The devil don't come for those he got. He sends those he has already. You get what I'm saying? So it's a good thing that they patched it up and they made it right between them. But for people to try to throw Shirley on the bus, you need to think about one thing. That could be you. That could be your mom or somebody like that, your auntie. And how would you feel then? Like I said in the beginning of the video, we all play the fool. Sometimes in life, it's best to be by yourself until God sends you somebody. You get what I'm saying? Now, Shirley said that Steve Harvey did not hook her and Ernesto up, even though I was told that Steve Harvey did. But I'm going to take her word for it because it's their life. She said that they didn't because I was wondering, why would Steve Harvey even hook her up with a man like that? Somebody that's low down as him. Somebody that want to sit up there, number one, scam people, and then scam his own wife. Now, imagine if you had a good life. Imagine if you had a successful career going on, even though she still has that, thank God. And imagine also if you had a big, nice home and nice vehicles, and then you meet somebody, you fall in love with that person, and you make a mistake by marrying them, and then all of a sudden, your life take a turn for the worse. So chances are, the person that you allow to come in your life is the one causing these omens in your life, these ill things happening to you or whatnot. So the best thing to do today, if you're in this situation like Shirley Strawberry was, is to drop that zero and get you a hero, leave that person alone, and guess what? Be by yourself. And pray to God and ask the Most High to send you somebody because when the Most High send you somebody, it's till death. It's for life. And guess what? You may have little small problems, but these type of problems, what Ernesto was doing to Shirley, you would not have those type of problems. So once again, in closing, big shout out to you, Shirley, and I'll be in Georgia soon. So hit Big Daddy up. Hit me in the email or you can hit me right there on the comment section. Anyway, I'm just joking. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about the story. And once again, thank you out there to the bloggers who keep it real who have a balanced program, who have a balanced channel, because everything is not meant to go overboard. You know what I'm saying? Some people just go too far with it. You have to put yourself sometime in these people's situations, in their shoes. It's not like Shirley was the one scamming people. It's not like she was the one touching children. You get what I'm saying? She just played the fool, like I told you on the beginning of the video. We all have played the fool, and I will leave it at that. Anyway, if there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, Please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.